After McIlvain's exceptional duck shoot, it was time for a late afternoon hunt for Perdiz. For this, he hooked up with Los Gauchos Outfitters George Criddle and one of his seasoned English setters. One great thing about coming down here, Steve, is that this time of year, you can have excellent water fouling and you're not hunting in these sub-zero temperatures. And it's probably up to about 60 degrees now, uh -huh. making a nice afternoon walk while we're hunting Perdiz. The Perdiz, whose name can be roughly translated as black cap, is a unique South American upland game bird. At first glance, you might take it for a quail or a partridge, but it's no relation to either. The Perdiz is a tinamou, part of a large ancient division of birds that includes the ostrich. Most of the Perdiz's relatives never fly, but he's the exception that proves the rule. The Perdiz has legs to run rings around a pheasant, as Criddle has decided after a decade of chasing it. Depending on cover, the Perdiz can leave the best gun dog with its tongue hanging out, to say nothing of a middle-aged hunter. <laughs> we got a two-tone dog. Yeah. It's the Eddie Bauer edition. Yeah. Steve, come on up. Okay. Nice shooting. You got a shot at it. Quite a right red angle on the dog. I didn't have a shot. The dog was uh, it was too close to the dog. So is there yep. any is there much of a difference between the male and the female? No, there's no there's no color difference between the male and the female, so we can't tell which one it is. But you can see the resemblance of the ostrich there if you look really close. Yeah. Maybe in a bit of an emu. Kind of a long neck and uh, no, not much for a tail. Yeah. Uh, are they pretty good eating? I assume it's white meat. Since yeah, they're... it's a white meat. If you like quail and uh, pheasant, it's a, it's a delicious white meat just like that. You'll often find these birds on the side of the road uh -huh. feeding off the waste grain that falls off all these agricultural trucks that you see driving around. Uh -huh. Yeah, you'll see a lot out there. So they're grain fed then? Yes, sir. All righty. Let's we'll see all if right. we can find some more. I don't know if you see something up there or not. We've got another point here. All right, let's keep our fingers crossed here. Steve, why don't you go to the other side there? Okay. Let's see what we got here. Go ahead and take that point, Steve. <laughs> oh, my first pretty ease. Beautiful shot, Steve. That was some action right there, huh? Yeah, beauty. Shed. Okay, shed. Shed's not afraid to work a little hard to get it, uh, get down in the mud to get the job done. <laughs> Good job, Shed. Let me take there a look at that. Steve, yeah, take a look at it. Yeah, I guess it looks like a little, he little ostrich kind of. Pretty good on that shot. We're up to about four now, I guess. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. All right. Here you go, Mario. Dog's on point up there. Let's oh. try another one. All righty. Yeah, Steve, what the dog's doing is picking up the initial scent of the bird and it's following it around for its trail. Uh -huh. As soon as it gets on point, that bird will start running, so it's best to kind of move up a little bit okay. before it can get too far away from your point. If we get further away from the ranch here, that the, the action should pick up. Okay. Point. Go ahead, Steve. Now, why don't we both uh, go up and uh, whichever way it goes. Goes left, you take it. Goes right, I'll take it. Oh, I think we double teamed that one. <laughs> Look at all those feathers. That was a. Can Thanks. you think of a better way to end the day than that? <laughs> Thank you, George. Right. It's been a real treat for me. No, it's been our pleasure, it's all ours. Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs>